foremost, let me say, is quite disheartening to hear that the Assembly would say that uh, I've stolen uh, for, uh, the property belonging to the Assembly. Um, when the court gave uh, the uh, uh, go ahead with the impeachment, we were told that we look at uh, what they owe me and what I owe them, isn't it? Then I pay them. No sooner was that order given that they withdrew the security from my premises. And these were rented houses. They are not houses belonging to the assembly. What would have happened if those things were carried away by thieves or by, who, uh, by goons? Who would be held accountable because they were still under my custody? Number one. Number two. And I want you to check the entire country. These things were bought for the speaker. And therefore, my understanding is that the things that were bought to my house were mine. The same way for the previous speaker, they, we allowed her to go with all the furniture. Because of, uh, at the end of the day, who wants to inherit an old mattress that has been used elsewhere? Who wants to inherit an old bed that is probably squeaking left, right, and center? These were property that were bought for the use of the speaker. And if they want to find out more detail, find out the previous governor, did he hand over? The countrywide, those governors who did not make it, did they hand over their properties? The deputy governors, did they hand over their properties? The speakers, did they hand over their property? But in any event, if they find it is so, so valuable, then the law is simple. If you, in government, you have been using a, uh, some property at a personal level, my understanding like a computer or a laptop or a phone that is bought to you, the best is that it is depreciated and you are asked to pay the amount.